Welcome back to Doom Builder. In the last video, one of the things I covered, I want to revisit it, and that is the, the concept and the dangers of zero tagged line def actions. Um, I realized during editing that I kind of fell short of the point I actually wanted to make on all of that. Uh, that's one of the dangers of this being an unscripted format. So we're going to just re-examine that, and uh, yeah, I'll make the point I meant to make. I'm looking at our map here. I'm going to zoom in on this starting area, and I'm going to make a few things. First off, make a 64 by 64 here. And I'm going to do a 128 by 16. And we'll do another, do another 64 by 64 over here. Switch over here to visual mode. This one's going to be a lift, just like uh, the previous video when I demonstrated zero tagged sectors. This one here is going to be a door. Last one is actually going to be a crusher. We've got three example sectors set up. Now I'm going to make them do their thing. First one, let's go to the lift. I'm going to grab all four lines, go to the actions, go to lift. We're going to do SR lift lower weight raise fast. And I'm intentionally not setting a tag. I'm going to leave this on zero. Next sector, this is the door. I'm going to grab the front and back. For the actions, I'm not going to use DR, I'm going to use SR. So we're going to use SR, door open, wait, close. I am not setting a tag on this. Final sector is going to be a crusher. For this one, we will use WR, crusher, start with fast damage. There is no switch, these are walk only. And now I'm going to launch GZ Doom. Now, none of these have tags set. Keep that in mind. We are now in GZ Doom. Okay, this is a comp level 2, basically a vanilla Doom format. I hit this, lift lowers, and then the lift raises. If I hit this, the door opens and awkwardly disappears into the sky, as you do. But it works. Over here, if I cross this line, this becomes a crusher. Prove that it's a crusher and let it hurt me. Okay, so what you noticed, everything works. Now if I switch game engines, I'm going to go to my game configurations and I'm going to switch to Crispy Doom. Crispy Doom is my favorite Doom engine for testing these uh, vanilla format maps. Okay, now what's gonna happen? These are all zero tagged actions. That lowers every sector in the world because the tag isn't set. So it's broadcasting that action to across tag zero. Every sector which has a tag of zero is going to receive that action and respond, which is not what we want. Oh, and yeah, I just, <laughs> I wasn't actually going to trigger that yet, but the crusher Every single sector in the map with tag zero has become a crusher. The door. Every single sector that is tag zero has, is acting like a door. And now really bad things have happened. I mean, at this point, this level is completely broken. You can't go anywhere. Yeah. Fun times. But remember, GZ Doom, it worked. So the point that I fell short on making in the, the last video was this. If you're not mapping for GZ Doom, do not use GZ Doom as your primary engine for testing purposes because you can make some mistakes, some pretty major mistakes like I did here. GZ Doom will patch it up on the fly. You're gonna test, everything's gonna look great, work great. You're not gonna have any problems. But then anyone not using GZ Doom is going to have the level break and most likely become unplayable and completely broken. Um, I do most of my mapping in GZ Doom and this has bit me in community projects I've committed to because 
I created a level, I built it, it worked great on my end. I sent it off to the project lead and everyone else who tested it, not in GZ Doom, was like, what the hell, did you even test this? I do recommend testing in GZ Doom as one of your options, but not as the main option because it does behave differently from other Doom engines and you wanna make sure that your level you're making for Crispy Doom or DSDA or whatever also works in GZ Doom. But if you limit yourself to testing only in GZ Doom, these are the kind of mistakes that can happen. Anyway, that's all I've got for this video. Um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.